name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a video all about the um, sort of plans I've got thinking towards the autumn. Um, the weather has definitely turned in the UK over the last couple of weeks. We've had quite a lot of rainy days, despite the fact it's still the summertime. And it's definitely made me think ahead to autumn sewing. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I'm a teacher. And in the autumn term, it's always incredibly busy settling a new class. Um, so I do like to try and get ahead where possible and think about what gaps I've got in my wardrobe or what garments I would like to wear in the new autumn term. So I've pulled out five um, patterns. Or I say I've pulled them out. I haven't actually got them with me. There's only one pattern that I've got in front of me. I've thought about five patterns that I've either absolutely loved sewing or I've wanted to sew for a while and I just haven't got around to sewing them. And I'm hoping by kind of talking about them in this video, it will give me the kick up the bum that I need to actually tackle these patterns. So I just thought I'd talk through some of the ideas that I've had. I don't necessarily have fabrics here to go with the patterns, but I've seen fabrics or I know that I've got some fabrics in my stash that would work really well. Um, I've got a couple of pieces of fabric that I have pulled out. So I just thought I'd go through the five patterns that I would like to sew thinking about the autumn season. Before I dive into those plans, I'll let you know what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing a Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress in this gorgeous um, viscous jersey that came in a So Heavy Jane box. Absolutely love the Westcliff dress. It's super comfortable. I've got a tie knot headband on. Um, it's a faux wrap. Um, it's got the ties, which I fasten at the front. Really lovely and drapey. Short sleeves. And then you've got the um, tear on the bottom as well really really comfortable it's like wearing secret pajamas um where possible with these um patterns that i talk about i'll put in some images of what they look like and i'll link everything down below where possible as well um might not be possible when i'm talking about fabrics if they're if they're fabrics that i've had in my stash for ages so let's start at the top with one of my favorite trouser patterns and it's a pattern by nin lee and it's the portobello trousers they're a gorgeous high-waisted trouser that have got an invisible zip and um, they've got a really narrow sort of waistband uh, they have got pockets and they're quite wide legged and i absolutely love this pattern i've sewn this pattern quite a few times probably about four or five times I really like the pattern because they're high-waisted. I find that you can tuck shirts in, you can wear it with jumpers, you can wear it with turtleneck tops, which I absolutely love as well. Um, and they're a really great sort of layering piece as well. You can sew them up in a range of fabrics. So the pattern comes in sizes six to 20 or 16 to 28. Like I said, they're high-waisted trousers. And in terms of fabric recommendations, they recommend light to medium weight fabrics like a crepe, a linen, a chambray, cotton lawn, or a wool. Um, I find trousers come in really handy when I'm at work. I work in the early years, so I spend a lot of time on the floor playing with the children and just getting messy and busy and things. So I've been thinking ahead to the autumn term and thinking about sewing up another couple of pairs of trousers. I really love the Portobello because they're high-waisted. I don't like anything pressing on my tummy too much. I have IBS irritable bowel syndrome so it means that my tummy is quite sensitive so I do like things that come up high waisted because it means that it's going to give that part of my tummy a little bit of space throughout the day as well. So I've pulled out some I think it was a viscose twill fabric and um, this gorgeous rainbow check effect fabric I think I got this from Stitching. I've definitely got enough to sew up the portobello trousers and I think these will be a really fun um pair of trousers to wear to work as well so i'm definitely going to use this fabric for the portobello trousers there's also another fabric i bought from new craft house but i couldn't find it in my stash um if i can find an image i'll put it in for you now um it's like a i want to say a hound's tooth fabric um sort of design and i think they would work well as well so i may end up with a couple of pairs of nina lee portobello trousers but i think they'll definitely come in really handy for the autumn especially when the weather starts to turn um this viscose will be quite a lovely viscose twill will be quite a lovely kind of still quite lightweight fabric um but um they'll be comfortable and i think there'll be lots of things in my wardrobe that will go with those trousers as well so that's the first pattern i'd like to get sewn up for the autumn 
The second pattern is a pattern that I've had in my stash for a while. I think I bought this pattern as soon as it came out. And it's a pattern by True Bias and it's the Marlow cardigan, which is this really lovely sort of subtle V-neck cardigan with the option to put some buttons down the front. And I've got some really chunky buttons in my button stash, which I think would look brilliant on a cardigan. Um, quite a relaxed fit cardigan. I've seen so many people sew up beautiful versions of this pattern. And I bought it, like I said, as soon as it came out, fell in love with it, but then I just haven't sewn it up. Um, it comes in sizes 8 to 20 or 16 to 32. Um, and in terms of fabric recommendations, they recommend a stretch fabric, like a sweater knit, French terry, rib knit or sweatshirting. Now I have got this rib knit fabric, I think I might have got this from Faye Studio Jetson when she was still selling fabric. It's a really lovely, fine rib knit fabric. And I think that would work really nicely as the cardigan. This is a striped, obviously different coloured um, rib knit. I have also seen that New Craft House have got some rib knit fabrics in stock at the moment, which are um, just block colours. So I think I'm going to buy a couple of different colours of their rib knit as well, because I think they would go really nicely with things like my uh, rainbow check portobello trousers um, and some of the other more sort of bright and colourful things that I've got in my wardrobe as well. So I'm going to sew up a couple of Marlowe cardigans, I think. One probably using this rib knit and then a couple using a plain rib knit as well from New Craft House. I'll link their website down below because they've got lots of different colourways of rib knit in at the moment. The next pattern is a pattern I keep on talking about and I still haven't got round to sewing it up and it's the named Rita shirt dress pattern which comes in sizes UK 4 to 28. I've wanted to sew this up for absolutely ages. Um, when I search on the hashtag on Instagram, there are so many versions that come up which look perfect for the autumn. Now, I couldn't see whether um, needle cord was a recommended fabric. It didn't come up on the list of recommended fabrics, but they recommend light to medium weight, non-stretch fabrics like a shirting, cotton, cotton lawn, rayon and viscose. But I've got this beautiful floral embroidered um, needle cord. It's got no stretch in it whatsoever. It's this beautiful sage green colourway. And I wondered whether this would work for the named Rita shirt dress as an autumnal shirt dress. If anyone has sewn it up and um, would be able to advise me, I'd really appreciate it. Um, like I said, it's got no stretch. It is quite a lightweight needle cord. It's not very thick. Um, my only hesitation is the needle cord perhaps being a bit uncomfortable around the neck where you've got that collar detail and possibly being a little bit bulky where you've got the drawstring detail. I have got some cotton poplins and some cotton lawns and some viscoses in my stash that would work really nicely for the Rita shirt dress. But I'd really love to try and use this fabric. Um, I just think it's a really lovely, pretty fabric and I think it would work really nicely as an autumn dress. So I'd appreciate any advice on whether this fabric would work for that pattern. But yes, I'm definitely going to get that pattern sewn up because I've had it for years and I keep on talking about it being one of the patterns that I really want to get sewn up as well. The next pattern I really want to get sewn up is the Nina Lee Richmond blazer. I've sewn one version of this up. I've sewn one, maybe I've sewn two. Um, and I've wanted to sew another one up for ages. Um, it's a classic blazer got a relaxed long line silhouette um, and in terms of sizes it comes in sizes 6 to 20 or 16 to 28. In terms of fabric recommendations they recommend medium weight fabrics like wools, cord, velvet, linen and crepe and I've just ordered some cotton twill fabric from Hayser Sister, this beautiful cotton twill fabric. I'll put a picture in now of what it looks like and I'm going to use that fabric to sew up a really fun blazer that I can wear to school um, in the autumn term and I'm really excited about getting that one sewn up as well. Um, and I think that would be a really great layering piece as well over the top of maybe a polo neck and some trousers or um, a shirt dress or something. I think it would make a really fun layer. And I'm really excited about getting that one sewn up as well. And then the final pattern is this pattern that I've had in my stash since it came out. It's the Tilly and the Buttons Zadie dress. Um, it is a comfortable and stylish dress for work or play. It's got striking diagonal seams, concealing lovely practical inseam pockets. The fitted bodice has a flattering empire waistline and round neckline finished with a neckband. It flares out into a feminine knee length semi pleated skirt that's great for swishing. Choose from cap, three quarter or full length raglan sleeves. Now, um, 
Cass from Made by Cass Craft has made one of these and I loved her version. Um, I would really love to sew a version like this with the long sleeves and possibly do some colour blocking. Um, and I'm not sure what fabric I will use. In terms of fabrics, they recommend medium weight stretch knit fabrics like a Ponte Roma, double knit, interlocked jersey. Um, we have, you have to check that the fabric can be stretched crosswise at least 20% wider than its original width and then it pings back down to size after stretching. I wondered whether a rib knit would work for this as well, but I'm not sure. These are the line drawings. I don't have any fabric in mind that's in my stash at the moment for this dress. But I think this would be a really comfortable dress um, to wear in the autumn and also in the winter. And I think it's a dress that I'd be able to do lots of layering with. So I think I would be able to chuck on a blazer or chuck on a cardigan. And I really love this colour block effect because it makes it look like you've got a separate top and skirt when actually it's all one dress. I think it's a really, really fun um, dress pattern. I don't know why I haven't got around to sewing it up because I really love everything about it. Um, I think when I bought it I was a beginner sewist and all the sort of lines um, that you need to make sure that you are very accurate with I think they put me off a little bit and then it just sat in my stash um, and I have been going through my stash and sort of rediscovering the patterns that I've got that I fell in love with and just haven't got around to sewing up. So this is one that I definitely want to have a go at sewing up for the autumn. And then I'm sure I will love it and I want to sew lots and lots of this dress. And because it's jersey, I just think it'll be secret pyjamas as well. I think it'll be the perfect pattern um, and the perfect dress for wearing to work as well. So those are a few of the patterns that I would like to start sewing up, thinking very much about the autumn um, and the weather getting a little bit cooler. Please let me know in the comments below what patterns you're planning to sew up for the autumn. Um, you might give me some more inspiration and remind me of some of the patterns that I've got in my stash. If you've got any advice on the needle cord and whether that would work for the Rita shirt dress, please let me know in the comments below as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really love it if you could hit that subscribe button. You get notified of when I bring out my next video. Thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.